Assalamu alaikum, this is Dr. Hasna and today we'll talk about the radio ulnar joints. As you all know, the radio ulnar joints are the joints formed between radius and ulna bones. And radius, as you all know, is the lateral bone of the forearm and the ulna is the medial bone of the forearm. So there are three joints that are forming between these two bones. These are the superior, middle and inferior. So three joints are being formed between the radius and ulna bones and these are the radio ulnar joints. So there are three in number, superior, middle and inferior. It is important to know the types of these joints. The superior and the inferior joints are the pivot joints. The type of joints are pivot joints, synovial variety. And however, the middle joint is syndesmosis joint. So let's talk more in depth about how these joints are formed. Basically, the superior and inferior are formed between the bony parts of the radius and ulna, whereas the middle radio ulnar joint is formed between the two bones through the interosseous membrane. So now let's talk about the superior radio ulnar joint. As I mentioned earlier, the superior radio ulnar joint is pivot joint and it is also synovial joint. Let's talk about the articular surface of the superior radio ulnar joint. The articular surface of this joint are basically the head of the radius as you all know this is the head of radius these are the styloid process of both radius and ulna this is the head of ulna so this is a difference you should know the head of radius is here while the head of the ulna is in the lower part so the head of radius and uh, the head of radius basically is uh, joined to the bone ulna through the ulna's radial notch so this is the radial notch radial notch is basically found on the lateral side of ulna in its upper end so that the head of radius can fit into it to form the superior radio ulnar joint. So that's the articular surface of the superior radio ulnar joint. Moving on the ligaments of the superior radio ulnar joint are the most important annular ligament. This is the most important ligament of the joint. It is attached to the margin of the radial notch and is, it, this annular ligament is continuous above with the elbow joint. As you guys remember the humerus is right here. So it is continuous with the, so if this is the annular ligament, it is continuous with the elbow joint capsule, all right? Also a point to notice that in within the annular ligament, the head of radius rotates to cause the movements of the superior radio ulnar joint. Now let's talk about the second ligament. Second ligament is the quadrate ligament. This extends from the neck of the radius all the way to the lower margin of the radial notch of the ulna. So these were the two ligaments of the joint. The blood supply is derived obviously from the anastomosis around the elbow joint in its lateral part. The lateral part anastomosis is responsible to supply blood to the uh, superior radio ulnar joint. Now let's talk about the nerve supply. The nerve supply is obviously the musculocutaneous nerve, median nerve and radial nerve. Finally, the movement of the superior radio ulnar joint are simple. The movement of all of these joints are supination and pronation because they're pivot joints the, that's why pivot joint allows rotatory movements and the rotatory movement of your forearm are the supination and pronation so this is supination while this is pronation the inferior radio ulnar joint on the other hand is basically again a pivot a synovial joint and its articular surfaces are completely opposite to that. Here, the head of ulna is involved and the ulnar notch of radius is forming the inferior radio ulnar joint. So, here the head of ulna is articulating with the ulnar notch of the radius bone. So, it's like vice versa from the top. Okay. The inferior radio ulnar joint has, uh, basically, let's talk about the ligaments. Ligaments of inferior radio ulnar joint are basically the capsule that surrounds this entire joint and secondly the fibroarticular disc. So the articular disc of the inferior radio ulnar joint is basically triangular in shape. So suppose let's view the inferior surface of the lower ends of the radius and ulna. So suppose let's suppose that this is the radius and this is the ulna. So remember these are the styloid processes of both the bones. This is the radius and this is the ulna. Okay, we are viewing the inferior surface. So the articular disc is triangular in shape with its base is attached. The base of the base of the articular disc is attached to the inferior margin of the ulnar notch of the radius. And the apex basically extends all the way to the styloid process of the ulna. 
So that was all about the articular disc and the ligaments of the inferior radial nerve joint. Moving on, the blood supply of the inferior radial nerve joint uh, is derived from the anterior and posterior arteries. And similarly, the nerve supply is also the anterior and posterior uh, interosseous nerves. Uh, in superior radial nerve joint, we had the anastomosis of elbow and uh, we had the median, musculocutaneous and the radial nerves. And here we had anterior and posterior interosseous vessels and nerves. Moving on, all you need to know about the middle radial nerve joint is that it's a syndesmosis type of joint which is formed by the interosseous membrane.